Hello, I have with me today a researcher from the University of Vienna, Dr. Atanas Atanasov. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Thanks a lot for the invitation. Great. So now you work in the Department of Pharmacognosy, is that right? Yes, yes. Could you remind us what that means, pharmacognosy? Pharmacognosy is a science that studies drugs that are derived from plants or from other natural sources. Okay, all right. So it's using nature to inspire drug discovery. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. That term was new to me, I admit. So this makes sense, in fact, because I know that you and your colleagues have recently published a very comprehensive review of the field of plant and natural source-based drug discovery. Could you tell us what were some of your main conclusions having written that review? Uh, if I can summarize this uh, very briefly, in the last decades, pharmaceutical industry was mainly focusing uh, on uh, small molecules and high throughput screening, and there have been less and less attention focused on natural products based drug discovery. Mm -hmm. And this approach actually turned not to be very uh, productive because what happened in the same period was that there were less and less uh, new drugs that were reaching the market. Mm -hmm. So the whole approach was uh, somehow disappointing and didn't meet the expectations. Okay, so the synthetic approach fell short of expectations. And so today are people turning back to the natural sources? Uh, our analysis performed in the review that mentioned showed that there is a re-emerging interest in natural product-based drug discovery. Okay. And we can see this clearly by the exponentially increasing number of publications in this research field. Mm -hmm. right. And this is uh, probably because uh, there are some major advantages that are associated uh -huh. with uh, natural product-based drug discovery. Okay. I would like just to mention actually very quickly two advantages. Great. One, one of them is the huge structural diversity and structural complexity of natural products. And the other major advantage is that uh, when we study compounds derived from medicinal plants, for example, sometimes there is hints for effectiveness from use in the traditional medicine. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. And, and this, this is really, really huge advantage because it gives uh, some hints for effectiveness already at very early research stage. I see. Right. Already when you start the project, you know that you work with a plant that uh, was effective in treatment of diabetes, for example, or inflammatory disease. Right. And this is something that is completely different uh, with the traditional uh, drug discovery using synthetic molecules. Yeah. Because with such kind of molecules, uh, you do the human trials just in the end, and they are very expensive and very difficult. So almost until the, the, the very end, you don't know if the molecule will be really effective in human or not. Right, that's really interesting. It's like it totally inverses the order of things. So you look at traditional medicine, you get some clues about what humans have used for thousands of years. So already you're on the right track. And that maybe also to mention something else that I find absolutely exciting. <laughs> Great. The, the 2015 Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine, it was given to researchers working in natural product-based drug discovery. This is, this, is, this, is, this is really exceptional development, and I think it's a very emblematic sign that shows the re-emerging interest in this research field. That's a good point, right. Now that you mention it, I remember the Nobel went to researchers working on parasitic diseases, right? And taking yes, yes, inspiration absolutely. from yes, nature. Exactly. Interesting. Okay, so clearly the time was right for someone to take a global view of the field. Yes, yes. So after this great exposure that you had to all these different facets of, of the process, um, could you make any predictions what you think we'll see in plant-based drug discovery in the coming years? I see a really bright future for natural product drug discovery uh, in general. Good. 
And uh, based on our analysis, I would like to mention uh, one aspect that I find especially interesting, just one single aspect. And uh, it's that in the recent years, additionally to the traditional natural product-based drug discovery, there is also a lot of uh, efforts done in the development of uh, botanical drugs mm -hmm. that don't contain just single compounds mm -hmm. as most of the traditional pharmaceuticals, but, uh, but contain rather a mixture of compounds that are extracted from plants, for example. I see. Okay. In the recent years, there was three such approvals from the United States uh, Food and Drug Administration. Okay. And I really, I really think in the near future, we will see much more happening in this direction. All right. We'll look for that. And maybe just also to bring one uh, important keyword in the end to close okay. our discussion. Yeah, uh, very good. In a way, uh, this keyword, in my opinion... That is very important for this research direction as interdisciplinarity. Mm. Natural okay. product drug discovery is uh, very complex, very difficult. So in order to be successful, one really needs a multidisciplinary expertise, which is also sure. complementary. This is the way to success if working in this research field. Okay. Surround yourself with experts in related fields benefit from their knowledge. I'm sure interdisciplinarity will speak to a lot of scientists out there. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you for sharing your knowledge with us today. Thanks a lot, too. It was great pleasure talking to you.